as I is probably saw the uploaded vid containing uh, most of the uh, the, the new 86 talents in uh, Black Ridge and Infinite Limited. So it gave me an idea. What if we were to compare both 86s in this game by ways of how best they are at drifting? So for the father versus well, not father, grandfather versus I don't know, father versus son, grandfather versus current ancestor versus uh, old 86 versus new 86. So first and foremost, we have to say goodbye to you. Now buy two cars here now. First, we fire. We'll use it with grandfather, the 86, the Sprinter Corella GTS 86. GT Apex 86, 1986. Now we're gonna max it out to its maximum potential. Let's see which is best. Oh, look at that. 8.3 seconds to 60. Okay, under 6, under 7 seconds now. It's faster than my C class. Oh, F. That's always a difficult thing. 857, so that's about as much as my uh, old RX 7, which I have to get back. Fast response. Wide steering range. That's off. That's off. Most importantly, make it locked. This gears need to keep spinning. Locked front brakes. Less tire traction. Really weak steering. Weak handbrake. Make those springs and sway bars stiff. For maximum coverage. Powerful nitrous. Now. If I give it some downforce, I will probably increase the thing. But hold on, let's see. Is there body kits for this? Probably not. Oh, there is. But I don't want. I don't want that. I want to keep. I want to keep the. Uh... Eh, it looks good. If I get the just downforce with these, nope. I want that. Oh, classic. Run free. Origin lab. Run free. No, I'm not doing wheels yet. Hold on. Nope, no splinter yet. And one. Or is that? I'm just trying different things. Where are they? Watch an obby. Give it red paint and do that. Uh uh. Actually, you know what? You can always. Brighten it up a bit. That'll do. There we go. Finished product. Car one of two. Me. Classic 86. I've tuned to drift. Looks rather subtle. I don't know if I can adjust. Let me see if I can adjust the downforce with it. Because if I can't, then no problem. But if I can, then we're good. Can't. Because I don't have an actual wing on the back. But oh well. Alright. <laughs> Luckily, I have no time for it. Just gotta go drift. Probably beaten all my times already if he has it. Anyway. Drift car this is this thing. Usually the the true drift the really good drift cars are the ones that can just hang it out for like the longest. And you don't have to, and it doesn't find grip all that quickly, like uh, my NSX, or my RX-7, or my Corvette, or my Huracan. This looks, looks like a big slow one. It responds pretty slowly. But I gotta test it out for myself though, I'm trying to... Oh dear me. Okay. It could work though. Could work. Oh. oh okay, it could work. It could work. So let's give it a go. All right. I love that. I love that. Good thing you can't customize those all by themselves because I just want to keep those. Now, leaving with th without those looks nice, but this is just classic. Let's go. Oh, look, it's so 
severe. Those are not good drift cars, so I don't like them. They're not bad, but they're not like. That's gnarly. Ooh. Okay. Oh, stupid. Camaro, move. Let me keep drifting. Stupid Camaro. I've hit an explorer now. Oh, that's good. This thing will slide out even more, but it just feels a bit sluggish, though. It doesn't, it doesn't really feel... Ooh. Yeah, see? As you keep it going, though, it's just gonna fix itself. There you go. It's not bad. But you need to use the handbrake, though. You can't really brake drift. It just finds grip all the way too quickly. Use it here. That's good. That's good. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, damn. Going to the next one. It doesn't, it doesn't counter steer quickly enough. Like the others, but it's good. It's good. You just have to. If you're coming from an RX-7 or your Huracan. It needs more patience. You need more patience with it. That's it. Because it finds grip pretty quickly. Ow! And it doesn't do well against traffic. Ow! Yes! That's good. Oh, that's not good. If I can make 300,000, it's good. Oh no! Oh no! I've already jinked myself now. Cut in there nicely. Let's end. Ah, did that too much. Seven seconds left. Big finish. Three, two, one. That's good. 341. Not bad. Not bad at all, but it's sluggish though. You need more patience with it. It's not. It's quick to respond as an RX-7 or an NSX or a, uh, a, um, Huracan even, even a Corvette. It's still good though, you see different techniques in terms of drifting with it. So let's go to another one. Let's go. That's good. And that's not good. That's the only problem I have. Is that's gonna be a problem there. This car slides out way too much. Maybe with a lock, lock differential. I locked it way too much there. And that's gonna be a problem. Even if it's it's not that they don't need much, but getting a record. That's alright. That's alright. Ah, oh, stupid Diablo. Come on, keep going. 
keep it going. Man. Oh, stupid poles. Move your stupid dodgy. They use the handbrake now for this. I really don't want you. find a groove here though. But there's no groove there because I think find the tracks are way too quickly and these poles are ridiculous. Oh come on. Damn. That's alright. It's not bad, but I think it's good on um, some portion of all horses. That's how I will rate this thing. I don't know if the new races can top this though, because that thing finds grip a bit more quickly than this. But ow! I doubt I will make 300,000 in 30 seconds. But that's a good score. Nonetheless, for the old 86. Ooh! Ooh! The 50 will be good. Ow! Van. That's one to beat. So it's not bad. But it feels a bit sluggish, uh, finds grip a bit too quickly, and it slides out a lot. But other than that, you just need a different technique when drifting this thing. I wouldn't say she's a full on keeper, though. Right then, on to the next one. We have to buy us a new 86, which is right here. GT86. There we go. Now, Rocket Bunny. Okay, smash. A Monagon. Nexus Monagon. Varus. Nope, not Varus. Rocket Bunny 1. Rocket Bunny 2. Rocket Bunny 1. Rocket Bunny 1. Drink lid. Charge speed, V1, V2. And the virus stuff, I want to go V1. The user is set already. Go carbon. Main exterior bits are done. Let's give it. Nope. Exteriors. Go. Fix these rims. Uh, deep dish. Done for now. Well, I don't know about. It. I'm making it too simplistic because I can't really do anything about that two tone paint. What I can do with my A86, but eh, sort of on the same team for now. Oh, mine's gripped too quickly. Oh no. I just broke too soon, probably. Hold on, I gotta find a good drifting spot. Oh, she's... Actually... You. There, Skyline. Drift race? What's spontaneous drift? Stink. Skyline. I need a drift car to go up against. Can't find any. Oh, come on. That's alright. That's not alright. Ooh, I don't know. 
this fence grip, this fence grip, all the more quickly than the uh, old 86. So I don't know. Probably easier to handle. But I don't feel as if I could be making any bigger the grays than I did with the, any bigger the score than I did with the old 86. But let's give it a go. I think I have someone on my uh, right. I do. Lancer. Okay, let's see how he does against me now. Oh, that's not going well. Come on. This is a handbrake. Keep that going. That's good. Easier to handle this one. Oh, lost. Oh. Man, no. I just need a different. I just kind of stir too much, though. Probably my problem. Go with your gut. That's not gone well. I usually don't do that at all either. Oh, come on, find, don't find grip, find drift. Need slip. Keep going. Yeah, it's very good. Good. Came in. You can drift. Oh! 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 Don't lose it! Don't lose it! Don't lose it! Don't lose it. That is a perfect entry. That's what it is. Come on. Your best for drifting. What an ass sticky boy. <laughs> Don't hit it. Oh. 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 Lost it. That was stupid Cayman. Stupid Cayman. Oh, I've gone. I've gone again. Two eighty. Not enough. I didn't even make three hundred thousand. This car gets grip in way too quickly. That's the that's the thing. I find scope way too quick. Yeah, that's the other thing. And I'm running out again. Oh, he's got. I think it's Earl. I think it's Earl. That's not gone well. Ow. Stupid challenger. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, come on. Come on. What are you, huh? This is Demolition Derby. Let's 
it going. Uh, yeah. Doesn't give did that long range drift like did. And XX can. That's not good at all. Oh my goodness. He's up to me now. Okay. Not enough. Gets at a wide angle pretty early. And it finds grip that quickly too. That's its problem. Even with me. Ah, oh, stupid Ultima. Come on, come on! Even with the thing held out, it doesn't want to... Okay, that was a mistake. I'm already higher than my... Uh, my old 86 classic. Can I beat it? Can I beat it? Can I beat it? Can I beat it? No. Didn't beat it. Ugh. Close enough though. So the 86 was better in that first round. The classic 86 was better in that first round, and my this one, the new 86, is better in the second round. So this one is obviously easier to handle while in a drift, but it gains grip way too quickly. And even though I have a locked differential, I don't know if it's totally locked. That's why I couldn't maintain rifts and this gets to a really wide angle easy uh, angle quicker than the other one but uh, as I said before you need new di you different techniques when drifting those two and this is coming from a guy who's drifting pretty much the best drift cars in the game the Hark 7 NSX uh, the Huracan the Corvette all those but she's stable she's stable best drift car out of the two uh, I have to say the the older 86. I mean, this is good, and it's easier to handle, but it just gains grip way too quickly. And the 86, the older 86 is a challenge, or well, it's a good challenge. And if done right, you can reap so many, much, so a lot more, much more. Bleh, you can reap greater rewards with that one. I cannot speak today. So there you go. Old 86 over the 86. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.